Hey, what's going on guys? Patrick here with Drone Earth. Today we're talking about the DJI Cine SSD system, how it works, kind of going, open up the box here, taking a look at it, gonna be using it, looking at the workflow with Final Cut Pro X, how to import, export, and all that fun stuff, and talk about some of the capabilities that it's gonna open up with your Inspire 2, why it's a good upgrade, why shooting 5K is better than shooting 4K, is it better? We'll see, let's tune in. So. Checking out the SSD station drive here in the box, all wrapped up, nice and simple. And then I have a 120 gig SSD that's going to go inside the Inspire 2 for using the transfer footage back and forth. So opening it up, you can see it has some information in this. And then this is the Cine SSD. Very sleek, looks pretty much like a hard drive thumbstick kind of thing. So this slides in the back of your Inspire 2. We'll show you how that's done as well. So I got that opened up and then opening up the Cine drive here, I'm gonna pop this open, just slide out of there like that. And then inside of there, same thing, popping that open. So this is your Cine drive station. So you're gonna attach this with your computer, MacBook Pro, whatever computer you're using. Got a couple plugs in the back there to plug it in and attach it. Inside is a USB cable that comes inside the box and that's just gonna plug this in the back there. So the SSD just slides on in there just like that to get your footage off of there and to export or to import into your computer. So you can see I have my Inspire 2 here. On the back of the Inspire 2 is this little slot right here. You're gonna pop this baby out of there. Takes a little bit of pressure. Oh, it just squeezes out. So it takes a little bit of pressure, you gotta pull it out of there. You pull this little piece out here, and then slide SSD into the back of the Inspire 2. Just slides on in there, and then clicks once it's in there. And then pulling out, same thing, you just pull it out. Pretty simple, in and out, just slides in, in the back there. If you ever wondered what that slot area was, this is for the SSD area, just slides on in. So now that I have the DJI Inspire 2 turned on, I have the SSD inserted. It opens up some new options in the DJI Go app. So looking at the DJI Go app here, just kind of walk through it, showing you guys. You can see it's showing now at the top there, it's showing my SSD capacity, showing what format I'm shooting in. So to change that, I'm just gonna open up a different couple menus here. I got the video, photo setting menu. And then I have the 422 ProRes option, which is gonna allow me to shoot 4K at 380, 40 by 2160, so that's normal size 4K. And then I also have the 4.4 XQ, which is gonna be a higher quality ProRes version. But normally I'm gonna shoot usually in ProRes 4.2.2. So it'll be a little bit better for overall size of files, stuff like that. Easier to edit as, as well. So and then I also have you know different options with the field of views and stuff like that. Full field of view at 24 frames per second I can. So I can shoot 30 frames per second at 4K in ProRes and also shoot 24 frames per second. All right, so I just shot some footage on the SSD. I'm gonna insert it into the card reader. You'll see that it pops up over there on the left. Just like a normal SD card that you plug into your computer, it'll pop up in your finder or on your desktop, wherever you normally see it at. So you can see here are the clips now. This is actually the ProRes footage that I shot at 4K. Just give you an idea there. And then for importing into Final Cut Pro, it's pretty simple. I'm gonna pull Final Cut Pro up here. I have Final Cut Pro pulled up there and I'm going to import the files now. To import the media, I'm just gonna import it just like normal, just like a normal SD card that you plug in from your drone. Pretty simple. And there you'll see in devices, it'll show up there as DJI with the name of the card and the format. It's pretty similar to shooting most ProRes workflows. Final Cut loves ProRes, Apple obviously loves ProRes, so it's gonna import it just like that, and now you'll see the ProRes file in Final Cut. Super simple, easy to do. The workflow is not hard with the ProRes. Now, shooting with the, D, the DNG files are gonna be a little bit different. You know, importing the DNG files, it's gonna be typical to shooting DNG raw files with other format cameras, stuff like that. But for the ProRes workflow, super simple to import into Final Cut. Also, most other editors like Adobe, and iMovie, stuff like that, are gonna import ProRes no problem. And there it is, you can see the file actually in Final Cut now. I shot it, imported it in a matter of seconds. Super easy, like I said. A lot more commercial opportunities there, shooting ProRes directly with your Inspire 2 on the SSDs. 
If you have any questions, make sure you leave a comment below. If you have any questions about the workflow, the SSD, or the Inspire 2s, just leave a comment below. I'll be working on more footage soon showing the difference between 4K and 5K, so stay tuned. Make sure you're subscribed to the Drone Nerds channel.